turn up the AC. It's freaking hot. Uh, but it is another day. Halloween decor hunting with me and just me today. <laughs> I feel so naked without good old Mr. Skeleton sitting right here next to me. But I left good old Mr. Skeleton at home because I went to go get my nails done. And I don't like to leave him in here for very long. Like if I'm going somewhere for a couple hours, I don't like to leave him sitting in here. Uh, so, cause I'm very protective of good old Mr. Skeleton. He will be back tomorrow or whenever we go Halloween hunting again. Maybe that means we're gonna see another skeleton today. Not that we're gonna replace good old Mr. Skeleton cause we're not but you know, we might see another skeleton today to fill that void in our deep, dark souls. Uh, anyways, right now I am, first of all, I'm struggling today. I am so freaking tired. I'm hanging on by a thread. So we're going to Starbucks right now. Oh yes, can I get a tall iced soy latte, please? Yeah, tall iced soy latte. What else can I get for you? And an order of your roasted red, pe roasted red pepper egg bites, please. Oh, give me the life force. Give me the life force. Okay, we got our coffee. That's gonna make us extra phlegmy -y. Perfect. But where are we going? I just, I'm sitting here trying to talk to good old Mr. Skeleton and he's not here. <laughs> I'm like, where are we going, Mr. Skeleton? We're cruising to Joanne's and we're gonna go see if they have any Halloween. I'm not gonna lie, I did stalk online a little bit. They said they had a couple things out, so um, I'm hoping they have more in person and it just hasn't gone online yet. So fingers crossed. I really, really, really want these velvet jack-o'-lanterns I've been seeing. They're super cute and I think they'd be the perfect addition to my in-your-face Halloween theme. So anyways, longest story longer, longest story of all time. <laughs> uh, we're cruising to Joann's and then we're gonna cruise over to Michael's and see if Michael's has anything out. And then Michael's, the Michael's we're going to is right next to Home Goods. So we're gonna drop into Home Goods. And we don't really say Michael's weird. Like, you know how we say cruising to Joann's? And then we say Home Goods has the spooky goods, Home Goods. <laughs> you gotta think of some way to say Michael's. But I feel like it just is what it is. Maybe we'll call it Michael Myers. <laughs> I don't know. Let's eat an egg bite. I'm starving. These are always so scorching hot. My freaking, I burn my freaking fingerprints off <laughs> every time I try to eat an egg bite. Okay, we'll wait. We'll wait. Ouch. Ouch. Oh my God, this thing is terrorized. Oh my God, that's freaking hot. Oh. Ugh. What a glorious day in literal hell. <laughs> Joann's, here we come. We're coming for you, Joanne. Anyways, before we go into Joann's, first of all, my armpits are sweating. We're gonna put on some deodorant, which is the perfect time, if I can find it, in my purse. Oh no, I know, oh thank God. I was gonna say, Ghoul would be sweating. Uh, but it's the perfect time to mention the sponsor for today's video, which is Native. And if you've been around here for a while, you've heard me jab my jaws about Native. I love all things Native. Of course, my favorite, their deodorant. I love the Native deodorants. The perfect companion for summertime. <laughs> what really stood out to me about Native deodorants, first of all, the ingredients. They are aluminum-free and paraben-free. They're also cruelty-free and vegan. And the Native deodorants also have long-lasting protection. So up to 72 hours of Odor protection and the number one thing that stood out to me about native deodorants the scent selection I have not found any other deodorant brand with the scent selection native has this one right here is coconut and vanilla perfect for summer it's like a pina colada and a deodorant also another native deodorant scent I've been loving for summer their sweet peach and nectar tried that recently smells so good like a summer peach let me tell you the native deodorants have been saving me all summer long I'm putting on my deodorant really quick and also I love the texture of this deodorant it's not sticky and it feels dry while applying anyways if you want to give native deodorants a try I got a steal of a deal for you you can click my link down in the description box and use code libra13 to get 20% off your first purchase with Native. And this offer is available site-wide. So anything you want to try from Native, but it's only for a limited time. So definitely stock up while you can. Uh, I love it. Wear it every single day. Anyways, we're here at Joann's. We've been here. We've been jabbing our jaws. So we're going in. We're going to go see if they have any Halloween. Uh, so here we go. 
I almost, I keep trying to say, here we go, Mr. Skeleton. And I just feel so sad. I have to lean on some other skeletons and Joann's for some emotional support. <laughs> All right, uh, here we go. We're going into Joann's. What in the literal hell on earth was that? What was that? <laughs> I am so confused. They had Easter out still, y'all. Easter. What? It's Halloween, don't they know? Okay, they had one, two things. But when I walked in, the aisles were so empty, it was, which is good. It means that they're preparing for us. And it also means that we didn't miss anything. So I can't be that mad because I haven't missed one single thing. <laughs> but it was so depressing. Like just walking in and seeing all this Halloween, like all the signage, but nothing in there. Like not one single thing. That was the biggest tease of my entire life. But they did have a ceramic jack-o'-lantern stack and a ceramic little vase with a spider on it um, that was like you can paint it yourself or whatever or glaze it yourself or I don't know but that's all oh and they had a spider one lonely spider wood cutout thing and that was that that was it and then they had Easter <sighs> so confused I'm so confused so now we're cruising to oh god we almost got hit by a car uh, we're cruising to Michael's and Home Goods. Hopefully, someone somewhere has freaking Halloween. That was so depressing. But like I said, even though I'm bummed out about it, I'm not the most bummed out about it because that means we didn't miss Halloween. So we can still see the full collection. We're gonna have to go back this week. I don't know when. I don't know when it's gonna come out. My guess is it'll be on the website. Even though whatever they said they had on the website, I did not see. I didn't see it at all. So I don't know what what the website is smoking, but <laughs> it wasn't there. We're cruising to Michaels. And I think Michaels, I looked online at Michaels too, and it looked like they had some stuff out. When it comes to home goods though, it's always a mystery. You can't look online and see it. Like, I feel like Home Goods is like the true Halloween decor hunting experience because you cannot look it up. You do not know what you're going to see. You don't know when you're going to see it. You may see nothing. You may see a ton of stuff and there's no telling. Unless you were to call and ask like every little thing that they have, which I doubt they would even <laughs> tell you. They'd be like, just come in. We've got Halloween. Uh, but you don't even know what you're going to see where a lot of websites show like for store pickup or whatever they show what they have but not home goods so i feel like there is this i don't know this feeling i feel like that's one of the reasons why i go to home goods so much it's part of the halloween hunting experience and i love that and i feel like home goods is like the only store that allows you to have that experience so that's why i enjoy it and that's my spiel but uh my my battery is starting to run low so i'm going to turn this off and i'll see y'all at michael's all right i'm here at michael's and home goods and hopefully that wasp nest isn't still there do you see it you have to scope it oh my gosh is that it right there is that the wasp nest do you see it that's it right there no oh no the elder wasp if you know the elder wasp you know all right we're seeing all the Halloween hunters out today saw somebody in Michaels uh, that they they said they watch videos on TikTok because we were like searching the Halloween aisles together. I felt bad because I was kind of hogging it, but I didn't realize she was looking. And then I was like, "Come on, come come look! I'm not trying to hog. Let's come join the party." And then I was just leaving Home Goods, and somebody was like, "Hey, at home up north has a ton of Halloween. It's like fully stocked." I'm like, "Dang it!" I don't want to drive a freaking hour. If I have to, I will, but it's an hour. Uh, okay, anyways, we saw some Halloween at Michael's, so it wasn't a total disappointment. Uh, we saw some planting, planter, floral kind of stuff. Saw um, the anatomical heart planter with an anatomically correct heart that's a planter, like you can put flowers in there. And then they had this really cool 
bust, but it was a skeleton bust in a pot. And then you put little floral things in the skeleton bust is what I'm assuming. That was really cool. I saw this really cool bat planter, just like a round planter with this bat, the wings that are wrapping around the planter. They had a cauldron that was really pretty and a, a couple planters I've seen there before. They had one that kind of had this marbling, like gold marbling look with the skull on it. Can't remember what the other one was. was it, I think maybe hands were wrapping around. I can't remember. Uh, there was a Medusa head. I feel like they had a Medusa head last year that I liked better though, or maybe I'm just imagining it, but they had a Medusa head that had green and purple on it. And um, I guess you could always spray paint it all black if you didn't like the color. Uh, they had a couple of skulls. They had a black skull with purple mushrooms, I believe, and then a white skull with floral, or maybe it had mushrooms too, I can't remember. And they had moss on them and stuff. And they had this creepy baby doll head planter. <laughs> you know those creepy baby doll heads we've seen at Walmart the last couple of years? Like those, it almost looked exactly like those actually, but um, a planter and with bleeding eyes or I don't know what was happening but it was creepy and then they had and then they had this kind of scientist they have this every year where they have beakers like all different types of beakers and stuff like that and uh, also some various things you can put in them so they had some rocks that were in the shape of brains and what else uh, bones they had flies just various spooky things and they had that they have here I don't know whatever else I'm missing in this little ceramic area I'll show you uh, because I'm sure there's a lot I'm missing they were pretty much fully stocked in this area they also had some door wreath hanger things then they had a bunch of little like wreath where you like stick like things on sticks that you put in wreaths and trees and things like that all different kinds of things they had spiders they had ghosts they had mummies they had little things that said boo they had floral different floral ones floral with uh, eyeballs in the center or like roses with eyeballs in the center and they had other ones with skulls and floral and and they had the witchy boots that kind of stick out you can stick it out of a tree or whatever and various little plushy ones little voodoo dolls they had a big hand that was actually pretty heavy like a big scary hand and then also like a little skeleton hand so they had things like that they had floral with little fangs inside and then they had roses with skulls inside I believe it was skulls or was it eyeballs I think it was skulls and then they had other just spooky floral black floral dark purples that kind of vibe and then the worker there was telling me that there's more coming and that they're putting out Halloween really soon but they need to get fallout first and then they're gonna get Halloween out so that was good to know so we'll be stocking Michaels per usual and then I went over I went cruising over we went I had to take something out because I bought something from Michaels so I had to take something out to my car so I didn't walk past the wasps nest thankfully because there were two by the way and uh because if, if you're new here first of all welcome to the spooky family but second of all i am horrified terrified absolutely devastated by wasps like i cannot i can detect them from a mile away i remember where their nests are every year <laughs> i watch for them because they terrify me i've had a horrible fear ever since i was a little kid and i got stung by a yellow jacket when i was sitting completely still like my parents told me to it still stung me and so i trust no one especially not wasps <laughs> so that's my story and i'm sticking to it anyways went over to home goods there were some snow globes or water globes i think that's what they're called the halloween ones are called water globes and uh they had little skeletons in there we saw a skeleton it wasn't good old mr skeleton it was smaller than good old mr skeleton but we did at least see a skeleton so we could have our skeleton fixed for the day since mr skeleton could not be here with us today what else was in this little area uh, oh, they had some little books, like the book containers, and they were really pretty. They kind of have a floral, romantic, gothic vibe. Perfect if you're having a wedding, honestly, if you're, you have like a fall wedding coming up or a spooky wedding coming up, uh, it'd be great for that. And then they had a, a lot of skull things here, stacked skulls. They had this big skeleton arm holding a lantern and lots of skeleton stuff in this area. 
and there was a whole area of dishware. They had the tiered trays we saw last time with the skulls, and then they had also these cake stands, or maybe it's just a plate. Uh, it can be whatever you want it to be. You can put candles on it, you can put a cake on it, you can put whatever you want on it. A glass plate, and then the base is a skull, and they had a gold one and a silver one. And those are really nice quality, really beautiful. And then what else did they have? Oh, they had these two skeleton guys holding cauldrons, like little dangling cauldrons. They had a pretty cake stand that was wooden and then it had cool little skeleton designs. And what else, do they have anything else in this area? I feel like there was more, there was something else that stood out to me, but. So then uh, I spotted a mug and it was a cauldron mug with this little quilted ghosty on it that was super cute. And I was like, hold on a minute, there's gotta be more. So I go searching the end caps on the side and sure enough, there was a whole little area of ceramic where they had mugs, they had another cauldron mug with a jack-o'-lantern on it that was quilted, or like that kind of quilted texture. And then they had a Mickey Mouse ghost mug with a topper on it. And I have a feeling that's gonna be popular. A lot of those Mickey Mouse mugs are really popular. And they had, what else do they have in this area? Some towels we saw at the last Home Goods, like the last Halloween decor hunting video. So I didn't get visuals of that since we already saw those. All right, that is it for our Halloween hunting adventure for the day. Uh, I'm going in and I'm gonna start editing this footage so I can get it out faster. And um, yeah, uh, I'll see ya on the next hunt. Mr. Skeleton, let's get in, sir. Oh God, they're falling apart. <coughs> so freaking out, I can't breathe. Mr. Skeleton, what are you looking at? <laughs> oh God, it's hot. <laughs> We're pump up the jam. Let's get this pumping. Get the AC pumping now. Make my day. Make my day. <laughs> Everyone, it is another day Halloween decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton and we are cruising right now. We are actually going to go meet my mom for lunch at my favorite place ever, BB Bop. If you know BB Bop, you know because I never stop talking about BB Bop. Hold on Mr. Skeleton. Sorry sir, I didn't put my arm out for you. And my armpits are sweating Mr. Skeleton. Oh there's a graveyard sir. Make yourself at home. <laughs> Anyways, what was I saying in this complete chaos of a conversation? Oh, we're gonna go meet my mom for lunch right now. And just a quick lunch, and it's right across the street from the fancy home goods. If you've been around here for a while, if you haven't, if you're new here, first of all, welcome to the Spooky Family. We're excited to have ya. Every year we go to this fancy home goods. It is so fancy. Like the whole outside is fancy, the whole inside is fancy. Everything they have in there is fancy. So anyways, we're cruising out there. We haven't been to this fancy home goods yet this year. So I'm like, well, or this season, you know, the Halloween hunting season. Did I put on deodorant? Oh, thank God. Oh, yes, we put on our native deodorant again today. <laughs> we actually remembered. I don't know where else we're going today. I guess we'll just see where the spooky wind blows us. I think we might try to hit the other home goods too. Possibly Bath and Body Works today. So today slash this morning at the ass crack of dawn bath and body works put out their their whole halloween preview or halloween like you could buy it but it was for app members only or only if you have the app basically so i got up i was up at three o'clock in the morning with lucian and it wasn't up and then by the time it was 6 30 and i woke up again i had missed the whole thing not really i still got some pieces that i was wanting i mean okay so i lied by the way, I lied to y'all. I said there was nothing I was interested in and I wasn't as impressed with the Bath and Body Works previews this year. And then of course, I, I freaking, I don't know. The, okay, I've been waiting for them to do a Dracula's Castle type of luminary for one and two, their haunted house plugin. They have a different spooky house plugin every single year and I collect them and I promised this year because last year I forgot to do it. This year I'm definitely gonna do a uh, like a Bath and Body Works wallflower haul, or sorry, collection, that's what I mean. So I've collected a bunch of the Halloween wallflowers from Bath and Body Works over the years. So it's gonna show all the different ones I have. So every single year, I love getting their little spooky house plug-in. 
And this year, they did a whole Dracula castle looking one, which I've been waiting for for years. So, you know, I had to snag that. You know, I'm gonna do a whole Bath and Body Works Halloween haul here coming up whenever I get my stuff. Uh, but yeah, I, I thought I wasn't gonna get anything this year, except for maybe the Spooky House plugin. But my bank account has determined that is a whole ass lie. It's a lie. So anyways, longest story longer, we might go to Bath and Body Works today to see if they have any fall candles out. I know they don't have Halloween out, I know for sure, but they do have, I think, some pumpkin-y smelling candles and it is 500 degrees today, but that means it's the perfect day to go into Bath and Body Works and smell some fall candles and pretend it's October. Might stop at at home on the way home, but I'm not sure yet because we're supposed to get some pretty bad storms like tornadoes and hail and, and all of the spooky weather. So I don't really want to get caught in it or be outside in it. So uh, we'll see once again where the spooky wind blows us, see where the weather's at. But yeah, so right now we're cruising to Home Goods. Well, we're going to go get lunch with Mom the Virgo. Mr. Skeleton, you're, I know it's hot. You can't be sleeping on the job, sir. All right, I'm here at BB Bob. I'm so excited, I'm starving. Oh, it's good in here. I don't like gnomes, do you like gnomes? No, I don't like gnomes. Thank you for saying that. I got my spooky stuff from a Halloween party. That's good, you gotta get it. Do I? All right, Mr. Skeleton, we did some damage, sir. We did some damage. We saw some goods in there. We saw the home goods, spooky goods. It was so good in there. The goods were good, Mr. Skeleton. Oh no, the storms are rolling in, y'all. The storms, here they come. 93 degrees feels like 102, Mr. Skeleton. I know, I'm screaming too. <laughs> we need all the refreshing beverages we can get. We have like three beverages in here right now. What were we talking about? Oh, we saw the spooky goods at home goods. It did not disappoint, not even close. Um, my mom had to go into Home Goods too because she was looking for a rug for her new, she just got her floors redone. So she's looking for a new rug. So she went in with me and she found something. She found a bubbling cauldron and then she had the audacity to tell me that I was a bad influence when I told her she had to get it. <laughs> oh Lord. Uh, but my mom, this is why I'm so obsessed with Halloween. My mom always made Halloween so magical when I was growing up. And she has, if you watched, uh, if you watched Vlogoween last year, she has way scarier stuff than I have. She has like animatronics and that kind of stuff all in her house. She does a big Halloween party every single year. And she has, you know, big dangling spider webs and everything. Anyways, so what were we talking about? Oh, home goods. We, we got off on a spooky tangent. Uh, but we saw the goods at Home Goods. First and foremost, let me say what I saw, and I have not seen, like, I never saw this in person, ever. The Headless Horseman was there, y'all. The Headless Horseman on the horse, the whole thing that I was searching for for years. I had one, like, I had a smaller one that I got years ago, probably six or seven years ago, maybe longer. It's like that one, but this one was smaller, and it fell off my mantle and broke into a million pieces and broke my soul at the same time. And so, uh, luckily, someone in the spooky family sent a replacement. You guys found one out in your area and sent it to me, which I was so grateful for because I couldn't find them anywhere. I, this is the first time I'm seeing them since I got my original small one years ago. Uh, so I saw two of the Headless Horsemen at this one. I snagged one for my brother and my nieces. They also had the Headless Horseman, like the one that I showed in my Halloween decor haul, but it was more of a greenish color instead of gold. They had that there. They had a bunch of skeleton stuff, lots of skeletons everywhere. They had skeleton, like the romance skeletons, or like dancing, or I don't know, like posing kind of thing. Uh, there was like a big skull with a top hat on that had kind of glittery, um, sequins -y kind of stuff on it. Uh, lots of other skeleton skull things. Skulls with crowns on them. Just various intricate looking, ornate looking skulls and skeletons and all the skulls and skeletons. They also had some ghosty things. They had a little ghosty ceramic piece. And then they had a bunch of water globes. Lots of water globes. 
like I mentioned before, skeleton skulls, those types of things. But they also had this really cool one that had these witchy hands that were wrapping around it. And inside there was a black cat and I can't remember what else was inside of it, but it was really magical and witchy. And then they had another, they had a couple that were kind of vintage looking, I believe, or I don't know, maybe it was just jack-o'-lanterns inside or something. I don't know why it gave me a vintage vibe, but it did. And then there was one that had a spooky house on the inside that was really cool. You know, I'm always a sucker for a spooky house. Anyways, what else do we see in this area? There was a ceramic jack-o'-lantern looking guy. There was a black cat with a witchy hat on and a little cape. And it was kind of like the one at, at home, but I liked this one better because there was more detail on it. And then they had, what else do they have? They had a lot of stuff in this area. It was pretty good today. Home goods was good today. And then my mom picked out this bubbling cauldron thing that had eyeballs and uh, things coming out of it and there was another witchy piece that was kind of cool and it had stacked books and then it had potion bottles on top and those lit up so that was kind of cool and what else am I not thinking of they had some good stuff in here oh there was a really cool piece that I think would be awesome for a wedding like a cake topper they had this Bride of Frankenstein and Frankenstein and I feel like that would be perfect for a spooky wedding cake topper if you're having a spooky wedding what else do they have in this area oh they had a crow sitting on top of a skull that was pretty cool that was way better looking in person in my opinion i saw that one online and was kind of like eh, i don't know but in person it looked way better it was a martha stewart goth piece but anyways i'll just continue to show all the decor pieces here then they had some dishware they had a lot of the halloween mickey stuff so they had a ghosty mickey mug and a ghosty uh, mini mug and they had little toppers with their ears and they also had a Mickey, I think it was a cookie jar, but it had like the top was missing. So it must have broken or something. And then what else? The, oh, they had the Mickey and Minnie Halloween salt and pepper shakers. They also had some mugs that we saw the other day, the jack o lantern mug and the ghosty mug set. We saw that the other day. I don't think I saw any other dishware, but I did see some napkins. Saw some Joanna Parker kind of cloth napkins the matching tablecloth and it was the really cool vintage looking kind of swirly design that joanna parker designed that i love i got the kitchen mat last year in that design i love it and then they also had a napkin set with spiders and a napkin set with skulls all over it all black and white and then they had i am so bummed about this i had just walked down this aisle and somebody was down the same aisle and they pulled out this Joanna Parker uh, apron is what it was that matched that swirly design the same design that's on the uh, what am I thinking of napkins and the tablecloth that same design in a freaking apron it would have been perfect for the spooky kitchen I was gutted and she bought it <laughs> and this happens all the time at home goods you know when you see it you got to grab it or else pretty much but when it happens in front of your face, it's always the worst. You know what I mean? It just gets ya. Anyways, I also saw some pillows. Saw some pastel looking Halloween pillows. One was kind of like a sweater look. Skulls and different, I don't know, different Halloween-y things on it. And it was pastel pink and greens and stuff like that. There was also one that had bats all over it. Different pastel bats. And then there was one that was black with white ghosties all over it. And then, uh, okay. I found something for little baby Lucian I was all excited about. They had little hooded towels for kids. They had little Halloween ones. They had a jack-o'-lantern. They had an orange jack-o'-lantern, actually, and a pink jack-o'-lantern. They also had, what else they have? A black cat, a ghosty. Was that it? I don't know. They had some really cute Halloween hooded towels. I had never seen them there before, but also I never really looked. So maybe I just missed them in previous years, but they were so cute. Also, what else did I see? I saw some Betsy Johnson lunch bags that I had never seen before. There was one that was a skull. Well, they were both skulls, but one had little skulls all over it. And it was more of just like a little, like you just like had handles. It didn't have like a big strap where you can do a messenger style or anything. And then the other one had skull and crossbones and actually matches my wallet. And I was thinking that would be perfect for some bottles like or my pump parts. I can put some ice packs in there and put some bottles in there if I need to. So I thought that was a perfect idea. Why not a spooky pump bag, right? So then I think that's pretty much it. Anyways, we went to that home goods and we saw the goods.
So it looks like it's like getting pitch black. What time is it supposed to start? Because I wanted to run into this home goods really quickly. I don't think we're going to be able to go to Bath and Body Works today. I hate to cut it short. It might just be a home goods kind of day because it's looking not good out. And it feels like a tornado day, everybody. So the other day I was talking about tornado days and how they're usually really sunny, really humid, and usually you don't see like a lot of clouds in the sky or maybe just like a couple of like fluffy cute ones. But then the storm rolls in and it hits hard. And that's kind of what's happening right now. Like the, the whole sky like over here is nice and bright and blue and sunny. And over here is dark as night, not as night, but it's dark. Mr. Skeleton, I can pretty much fit anywhere in this car. Perks of having this little go-kart of a situation. Yep, we fit Mr. Skeleton. Oh, you're passed out. That's fine, I get it, it's hot. We're going into home goods, we're sweating. We're cruising right in and out, and then I don't know where we're going after. We might go to Michael's, check it out. Uh, I don't know. We'll see where the spooky wind blows us. Here we go. Okay, look at the sky, though. Look at this. Oh my gosh, it just feels sticky and horrible. We're under a severe thunderstorm warning, so we're not going anywhere else. Great, I totally forgot to go to the post office and we're gonna get stuck in this storm. No, no. I think we're gonna make it though. We're just gonna run really quickly to the post office. But we're leaving home goods now. We saw some spooky goods. A lot of pastel stuff at this store. Like I preferred a lot of this stuff at the last store, um, but this one did have a selection, a decent selection. They had a lot of the pastel stuff, like I said, like a pastel ghosty, or it was a white ghosty with a pastel, I think it said boo. We saw this last year. Uh, they also had a pastel fortune teller book, it's pastel pink, and a bunch of these pastel fairy witch things. Uh, they had, oh, they had this witch that was like a, it looked like a straight up Barbie witch is what it looked like to me. It was like a hot pink and purples. And they also had this really cool spooky house that I, I just wanted to live there basically, but it was like a dark blue and black and gold, really pretty. They also had some of those books that are containers, you know what I mean? Uh, several witchy ones. They had one that was kind of this old school witch vibe. Another one that was kind of just a prettier looking witch. They had, oh, they had the candelabra that I got that I put in my haul. If I put it out, yeah, I think I put it out already. But they had the Martha Stewart goth candelabra, but in silver, it was really pretty. I don't think I'd seen the silver before. They also had a pumpkin head man wearing a suit, like a business casual pumpkin head man. They had a couple of the vintage looking guys too, like the where you put the candy in the head and some skull things. And they had a water globe that was in the shape of a potion bottle. They had a really cool tombstone looking thing. And what else? Oh, hands, like some palmistry looking hands. But they had a lot of cool decor in this area. And then they also had some blankets. They had a faux furry black blanket with white ghosties all over it. They had a another blanket that had little ghosties i think little ghosties or was it little like dog ghosts or i can't remember what i think it was just ghosts all over it and anything else that i'm missing um, there were some repeats from last time so i didn't get anything that i got last time uh, just so i'm not showing the same things every video but i'm super bummed we couldn't go to bath and body works or michael's because this i'm telling you it is dark like look at this look at this over there it is looking bad. It is moving in, whatever it is. If you were a kid when all the Twister movies came out, do you now have a weird obsession with storm chasing, tornadoes, tornado stories? Like, because I definitely do. Maybe it's because I live in Kansas, y'all, but I feel like it has to do with the Twister movies growing up. Like, I feel like Helen Hunt herself <laughs> got me into storm chasing, <laughs> but I don't. I don't, I don't storm chase so don't be like oh ghoul be careful I don't do that I am the ghoul any sign of a tornado I'm already in my basement like if the wind starts picking up a little bit too much for my liking the tornado sirens aren't even going off yet I'm already in my basement like I'm not messing around with tornadoes y'all I live in Kansas I've heard too many stories absolutely not I, I just hide in my basement anyways 
that is it for this Halloween decor hunting video. We only went out twice this week, so I feel bad, but I just put out a Halloween decor hunting video, so I feel like two in one week. I feel like hopefully that makes up for it. Uh, but we'll be back on the hunt next week, and I'll have a little bit more time to get out and about. This week was kind of crazy. So we're going to go next week, and hopefully all the places have all the things. So anyways, hope you enjoyed Halloween decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. Come on, sir. Wake up and tell everybody that you enjoyed. Come on. You enjoyed Halloween hunting with them. <laughs> Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say, hey, ghoul, hey, or hey, Mr. Skeleton, hey, down in the comments, because you know we love talking to you. And yeah, anyways, uh, anything else you want to chit chat about down in the comments, anywhere you're seeing Halloween or anywhere you're really loving this year. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. And oh my gosh, it's starting to rain. No, no, <laughs> because we still got to go to the post office. Okay, anyways, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.